15 years ago, I attended a Halloween party and I needed a costume for it. So I decided to buy a really cheap white t-shirt and spray it with artificial blood. The look that it created um, really struck my mind because I liked the forms and the way the, the, the color splattered all over the t-shirt. What I had in mind after that was to create t-shirts like that. At the time, I couldn't really get my hands on colors that are sticky enough yet fluid enough to get this splashy, squirty style. Now I decided to give it a try once again and I went to the internet and found colors that seem to be apt for what I'm planning to do. So today I'm gonna give it a chance and try if my little experiment is um, worth it and if it, if it really works. Hope you like my little movie about it. Okay, first of all, I need a white t-shirt or a white hoodie. I need something to paint on and syringes or something like that to, to splat out the paint. Where can I find those Ooh, on a Saturday? So although the idea isn't really absolutely new and revolutionary, what has always fascinated me is the thought that every shirt is different. So that's really cool, I think. Okay, now that I have everything, let the work begin. Absolutely freezing outside. <laughs> this is really a lot of work. I thought that it would be, but uh, in the meanwhile, it's uh, in the middle of the night and I'm only a third of my way through. But what's definite in any way is that nobody on planet Earth will have this exact design as I'm gonna have. Whew, that was fun. Felt a little bit like in kindergarten. Kindergarten! It was really exhausting. I think uh, it took me now, I think four hours. And now the most critical part begins. If anything goes wrong here, I can start all over again. Okay, today is Sunday. After waiting the whole night and uh, letting the colors dry, I'm very excited to see how I can fix the color. So this will be very crucial to the um, durability of the shirts. So there are basically two ways. You can either iron it or you can put it into the oven. Guess which method I'm gonna try. Now I'm gonna take it out and find out if the fixation has worked or if it has burned up. Ta-da!
So which of my shirts did you like best? Number one, number two, or number three? Please let me know. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, share my videos, and like it if you want. Goodbye, and see you next time.